Hello everybody, this is Fred with Wentworth CCTV and um, today we're going to be demonstrating how to uh, make a network cable, whether it be Cat5 or Cat6, um, and these are used today for you know, a lot of purposes. IP phones use internet cable, routers and access points use internet cable, and our line security cameras use the internet cable, um, and certainly your home network uses it if you have a router. Um, or a modem that has the uh, Ethernet plugs in the back. Um, this is the cable you use for that. It's very expensive to buy pre-terminated. Um, you can buy a box of 500 feet of this cable for $30 at Home Depot make your own. Um, and it's a very simple process. Uh, the first thing you need is a, um, a tool that you can get again at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and it serves many purposes. It cuts the cable. It strips the sleeve off of the cable and also terminates the connection or compresses the, uh, the cat five or six block. Um, so first to cut the cable, um, you would put it in, um, in the middle there, just like that, um, and use your tool to cut it. Um, cuts off clean, no problem. Once we do that, we need to strip the jacket to make our termination. Um, there's a port on these tools, you can see it here, right in the front, um, with a blade above it that can strip the jacket. So you put that in there, you twist it, see there it's sticking out, you pull out the cable, um, and it strips off strips off the jacket, just like that, and exposes um, our cable. There we go, pull it off. Um, so inside, we have four pairs of wire. Um, we have an orange pair, a green pair, a blue pair and a brown pair, just like that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, if not, you will when you strip the jacket. Um, these have to be in the 568B order, uh, which is very important in the industry. Um, because if you terminate a wire that is already run, you want it to match what's on the other end. Um, and basically, what we do is we untwist these just like this, and we put them in order. White and orange, and orange go first. Then we need the white and the green wire here. Then we need the blue and white and blue wires. Then green. Then white and brown, then brown. So we have white and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, the white and brown and the brown, all eight wires. Uh, basically, we're going to work these like this to make them flat, okay? Once they're flat and straight, you use the cutting blade in your tool, right there. Put this guy in there. Cut. Now they are just like this. And they're again in order. White and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. We're going to post a uh, picture um, after this presentation that shows you that coding um, that you can print out. And while you're getting used to doing it, um, you can carry that with you in your toolbox or you can post it in the garage. Um, or you can use it for one-time use and throw it away. Um, but it does show you the coding, which is very important. Again, it's white and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. Just like so. Now what we're going to do is get our plug. Um, again, you can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store. Um, they come in boxes of 25 or 50. Um, the important thing about this is when you're holding the wire down, like so. This plug, you want the tab on the plug right here. The tab needs to be down, facing down, and your white and orange to the left, okay? Tab down, white and orange to the left. You slide it in here, just like slow. Use our crimping tool. and your plug is on the wire, okay? Just like that. You want the jacket 
to be inside of the clamp. In other words, you don't want the strands so long that you have wire out to here um, because the connection will get loose over time um, and it will fall off. This way here, the gray jacket is inside the plug and there's a spot there for that to crimp also. So the wire is in there good. Okay. Now we'll do this end the same way. White and orange. We got green, we got blue and brown. Our four pairs. And we're going to untwist again. White and orange, orange. White and green. Then we go to blue. We have blue, white and blue. We have our green. And we have white and brown, brown. Actually, when I first started doing this, um, to help me remember, I made a song. And uh, when I went to terminate a cable, I'd be on the job site and I'll say, okay, white and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. And uh, you say it enough and you remember it. Um, but there we go again. White and orange cable, orange cable. White and green cable, blue. White and blue cable, green. White and brown cable, brown cable. All eight of those guys. We're going to work it again. We're going to cut it. Just like so. Again, about that length. You don't want it too long, so you have wire sticking out of the jacket. Holding white and orange, again, to the left, closest to me. We're going to insert it to the plug with the tab down. Okay, just like this. Perfect. Our crimping tool here. I'm going to put it in the crimping tool. The crimper. There we have a properly terminated internet cable. Okay, in our next video, we will show you how to make this uh, a useful cable by plugging it into a PoE switch and powering your camera or IP phone.